This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. What is going on guys? Today I've got you guys some air combat gameplay courtesy of Ranger Dave. Big thank you to Ranger Dave for providing me with this gameplay. Do be sure to subscribe to him and let him know I sent you over. Sadly, I didn't manage to get in the planes myself as they were always taken and always crashing to the ground. Anyway, plane combat looks pretty cool. Let's have a look and see what it's all about. Now, no longer planes will be able to fly over and over attacking objectives. Pilots will have to resupply at least every other run, so each resupply only gives you one magazine or set of bombs for your bombing weapon. So expect less plane and explosive spam in this next installment in the Battlefield series. If you have any issues with that, do let us know down in the comments below. Do you think it's too much ammo or do you think it's too little? Do let us know and what do you think about that icon as well? Do you think we should have an airfield and actually land the planes? I don't know, I'm a bit on the fence about that, but let me know about that if you do. Also, you can only repair to a set amount, just like the health with infantry, so you'll need to go back to your spawn and fly over that icon. However, you can make maneuvers while auto repairing, so you won't get shot down too easily and too quickly, you still have a chance of getting away. Now the first plane the British have is the Spitfire MKVA variant, which has four 303 machine guns as primary and dual 20mm Hispano autocannons as secondary. Its abilities include a quick repair and nitrous. This gives it a speed boost for a short period of time. Passive ability options include improved control and self-repair. No exact details for those yet, but I'm sure you can imagine what to expect. The second variant of the Spitfire, the MKV Beam, is equipped with dual 50 caliber machine guns, making it more effective against ground targets and enemy bombers. However, the slower velocity will make it tougher chasing enemy fighters. It also has a flare option to spot targets on the ground. Its passive abilities are improved loading mechanisms and armor. The bomber option for the British is the Blenheim Mark IF. Apologies for the pronunciation there. This comes with a single 303 machine gun and four 250. 50 pound bombs. It features a set of 8 40 pound bomblets as its special ability. Passive abilities include a twin 303 dersal turret so a teammate can keep fighters off your back. A second passive ability includes quick rearm and armoured fuselage. You've also got the option to add in a nose gunner armed with twin 303 machine guns as well. Now for the Germans, their primary fighter is the BF 109 G6. It's armed with two MG-131 machine guns as its primary, with a secondary MG-151 20mm machine gun. Ranger Dave told us that these have great splash damage, but you'll soon run out of these very quickly, so be prepared to head back to base and resupply. Passive abilities include quick repair and nitrous boost once again. There will also be a high altitude kit, which will allow, as far as we know, for it to fly much higher, escape and avoid dogfights. There is also the Stuka, which has twin 7.92mm machine guns as its primary and four 450kg bombs for taking out ground targets. The first variant includes the quick wing repair ability to hopefully stop you spinning into the ground, and along with a single 1000kg bomb as well as its special ability. You've also got dive brakes that should allow you to slow down your descent and give you more time to attack your target. The second variant, the B2, includes dual 37mm autocannons a slow rate of fire, but certainly packs a punch, ideal for those with good aim. It also includes a single 250kg bomb, but no special ability bomb either. You still get your wing repair ability and armoured fuselage though. And that's it, that's all we know about the plane so far, more information to come very soon. Looks pretty promising, as mostly an infantry player, I gotta be honest, I didn't really notice the planes, they were there, they were flying over, they were doing damage, but it wasn't like BF1. I definitely enjoyed the experience much more. Overall, I didn't really notice them, I've gotta be honest, I'm quite positive about this. I didn't fly them myself, but this looks pretty interesting and pretty promising as well. Anyway, here's a little more gameplay courtesy of Ranger Dave, do be sure to subscribe to this guy definitely appreciate this gameplay big thanks to that guy for that one and if you do go over and check out his channel do leave a comment and let him know i sent you over anyway hope you guys enjoyed this drop a like if you did and i'll see you guys soon enjoy
Return to the fight. We need you. Objective Baker. Just... 